So we, we did do training, well Kirsty did training around research ethics because obviously we wanted to be really clear about that anonymity, confidentiality and so on. So there was some training there before people were interviewing and I guess there was training if you like in the discussions of how you ask an interview question and um, you know there were lots of leading questions to begin with and those sorts of things so there was training in that sense but I think when it came to the analysis we wanted to um, trust in their lived experience and we wanted to not sort of create mini me we didn't want to say this is this is how you do it we just wanted to let that emerge so I think that I think it's I'm really conflicted about it because I think in a way people should have access to knowledge da, da, da. but equally what's the point if when if we're not going to let people breathe and, and bring their lived experience to the to the project if we're going to constantly funnel them down in particular ways and actually um, being part of Patty's um, digital storytelling project and when we do the analysis for that you didn't tell us the people watching you didn't tell us how to do the analysis you didn't say you know look at the visuals look at the sound I'm sure there are sort of ways of analyzing film that you could have taught us and then we could do it but actually what happens in those analysis workshops I felt were really rich because people were we're just speaking from their lived experience and doing something different from that. So I think at some points in the research process you need obviously to do the training. Although also you need to do the training in different ways. So for example in the school that we're working with, the training on ethics is an assault course in the hall. So they've created an ethics assault course, so they're going around to try and learn it, you know, learn the ethical process. And they've, their data analysis, um, they're doing lots of things in 3D to try and, and you know, give, co make concrete some of these complex ideas and so on. So even if there's training, it isn't necessarily like university research training that you would need, you know, training needs to reflect the communities that you're working with too. But yeah, I do feel conflicted by it, but I, f I also feel certainly for the analysis and the retreat that um, if we'd imposed, a, um, you know, read Brown and Clark 2006, that, you know, <laughs> that would not have been um, helpful, much as that is a helpful paper. <laughs>